Let's have our heart. Let's get right into it. Let's see what the tarot has to say tonight for the people. to communicate something or maybe someone's keeping a secret the masculine looks like he's keeping it to himself right now feminine he's working on himself he's working on bringing in stability what's in his eyes huh stars there's stars in his eyes a lot of wishes. He's manifesting right now. He's trying to make his wishes come true. How beautiful. Wow. Could the feminine be his wish? It looks like it looks like she's doing a lot of work as well, a lot of growth. Tapping into her light, protected by the divines. In touch with the light and dark, the feminine and the masculine. Hmm. And she's so in tune with herself that she's blocking everything out. Like, I'm just here growing. Please move out of my way. I too have goals to complete. I too have things that I'm passionate about. Three, okay, three. Ooh, joining forces, but also a lot of challenges and obstacles ahead. A lot of challenges and obstacles ahead for this feminine. Hold on now, let's see what's going on. Son of Wands and the Supreme. So this energy that the feminine is tapping into is the supreme, the highest of the high. And it's causing the masculine to not come forward with what he has to say. Son of Wands in reverse. Something's on pause. Hmm. It could be making the masculine a little angry, too. Oh, okay, they want this one. Here we go. Ooh, chariot, see? See how it fell there? He's trying to come forward to you, but you're blocking it out. He's coming in with the chariot. He's ready. He has something to offer. But are you going to accept it? Is this masculine around you worthy? No, it looks like you're not. So it could be a breakup. It could have been two partners who went off to just achieve their goals, find what they're passionate about. And it's leading to heartbreak or it's leading somebody to feel really sad. It's like the feminine was either speaking too much of her truth or not enough of it, which left her at a crossroads, which left her and the masculine heartbroken, divorce, separation. But the masculine's conjuring something up. So maybe the feminine was, mm -hmm. the masculine is focused, he's taking action, wow, let me get a clarifier of this one. Mm. 
feminine hiding. Strength. So the feminine's really just taking care of herself right now. Trying to find herself, y'all. Loving herself unconditionally. Mm. And then she's open and ready to accept or now he feels like he's able to go and offer something. Uh oh Wow. Now I'm feeling like a lot of people are feeling like they want to come in and offer something. Because when you're really glowing, yeah? When you're really... <gasps> Ooh, they're looking at each other. You may have a little battle ahead. Two men fighting over you? Oh, God. But the emperor is like, uh, no. <laughs> wow. We have the... Son of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. This could be someone who is in touch with all of their powers, all of their, yeah, all of their powers, I'll say. But I'm seeing it as three competitors. Ooh, and then there's those three swords in the heartbreak. But the Emperor is there, yeah? Someone who's really respected, somebody who has a plan, someone who also loves themselves. A leader, a father figure. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Death. And the black horse. The rebirth, the resurrection. The resurrection of two lovers. She's offering it to the emperor. So whoever is fully stable is the one. Wow. Yeah, the emperor is the one who is ready. They're both using that red cloak. He's ready. He's moving on. Or he's moving towards you. Towards the two of cups. He's done. Towards the two of cups. Thank you, spirit. That's where he's going. He's going to go find you. You're going to go find her. Wow, he's going. I'm going to leave that right there because he's going, he's coming. Ooh. Mm. Hmm. But those other three competitors are kind of guarding her, trying to block you from getting to her. And they're hurt, yeah, they're all broken down, not wanting her to leave, sad that she's not accepting their offer. And she's like, dude, control yourself, man. <laughs> Are you all right? Control yourself. You wasn't the one. If you ain't the one, you ain't the motherfucking one. Look, the obstacles, healing healing but it's also fresh hope and shining the spotlight on who was drilling fucking holes in your boat shining the spotlight on who wasn't on your team but that's the competitors oh my gosh is that three look three of them yeah the three offers that was trying to come in and that's you two in the middle i always seen that other competitors and there's you two in the middle Both blocking it out. Getting all that obstacles and bullshit out the way. Look, another five. They're trying to be sneaky and get away with something. 
but the masculine is not stuck in his head and he can see clearly he's a fucking emperor. Those other uh, masculines that were coming in to offer something, it was shed offers. These were clingy, jealous men who weren't even open to giving, sharing their time. A lot of greediness. Look, the Knight of Cups coming into another offer, but it's in reverse. They're not coming in because now you're going off on a journey. Two of Cups, because you're the High Priestess. And you'll see clearly when somebody's coming in to offer some bullshit or not. Okay. Two. Yes, there you go. On the Two of Cups, too. The marriage. Reunion, reuniting. Oh, there's three. Oh, it was hidden. Reuniting. Wishes coming true. Good health. So there's a marriage coming. You guys' wishes are coming true. You guys are healthy. And it's leaving those other masculines feeling left out. Hurting. They're experiencing a lot of pain. But that's not your problem because it was a necessary transition. You're moving away from the difficulty. What's going on the Nine of Cups? The fucking greed. The jealousy. Moving away from difficulty. So it could have even been a feminine who has a child. I mean, the emperor energy came in to help you move away from that. Yeah, sometimes we need help moving away from shitty ass people. Because a lot of us are so full of love that we choose to not see that, yeah? We, because we're in touch with our darkness, we're, we're able to love other people's darkness. But that's not always super healthy when you're growing mm -hmm. with the divines. I love you. I hope there's a message in there for you. Aloha.